Zoom has rapidly become one of the tools that companies and teams trust every day. It's a natural pair to use it with Microsoft PowerPoint, the leading application to create presentations. PowerPoint Zooms bring together the best of both. Welcome to a video that will show you how to use Zoom with PowerPoint. Before we show you the PowerPoint Zoom technique, let's check out a helpful design resource. On Envato Elements, you get unlimited downloads, including the best Zoom PowerPoint templates for a flat rate. This helps really improve your presentation with professional designs that give you confidence in what you're presenting. Hi, I'm Andrew Childress for Envato Tuts Plus, and I'm going to teach you how to use Zoom with PowerPoint. I already have both apps open, and before we dive in, let's check a few settings. These are the steps that really help make your presentation go well. I'll click on my profile photo, then go to settings. On the audio settings, make sure that you're using the right microphone from this dropdown. It's a major upgrade if you at least use your earbuds, for example. Try to avoid using a laptop's built-in microphone. Click test speaker and test mic to make sure that your audio is performing just as you expected. Audio really does make a difference for your Zoom PowerPoint presentation, so don't bypass checking these. Okay, now let's move on to sharing our slide on Zoom. Let's kick off a new Zoom PowerPoint presentation. We'll join with our computer audio here so that we're using our microphone and speaker to work with our Zoom meeting. By the way, I should note here that we're working with the Cubix Professional Template from Elements for our Zoom PowerPoint presentation. Now, you might be wondering how to bring others into the meeting to see your PowerPoint slide in Zoom. The best way to do that is to use the copy link option. You can share this link with others to bring them into your Zoom meeting. With PowerPoint still open, let's click on Share on the Zoom window. This is an important option, so make sure to choose carefully. Among the open windows, you have two key options for sharing in Zoom. You can either share your entire screen or a specific app. In our case, I'm going to share the PowerPoint window only. That prevents me from showing any unwanted parts of my screen. The full screen share option might be useful if you wanted to show PowerPoint and something else side by side, like a spreadsheet or app outside of PowerPoint. Zoom video conferencing supports sharing the entire screen for that exact case. When you choose the PowerPoint window, you'll see this green window around as Zoom lets you know that this is the window you're sharing. This is how you know which window is in your Zoom share screen PowerPoint setting. Okay, now in PowerPoint, let's go ahead and go over to the slideshow tab. We have a few options for how we can launch our presentation. I typically like to click on play from start to kick off the presentation from the active slide. This starts the presentation. Your audience is seeing everything in your shared window and you can move from slide to slide with your keyboard as you're seeing me do here. When you're finished, press escape on your keyboard to leave the presentation view. Of course, there's no reason that you have to be in full screen mode for your PowerPoint zoom slide. Some presenters like to stay in this view with the sidebar showing. That gives you the freedom to see the preview for a few slides at once, and it does make it a little easier to jump around if you need to while using your presentation zoom feature. Now, next up, let's see another way to present, and this is really a feature that's a presenter's best friend, so stay tuned. On macOS, to use this feature, let's make sure that we're still on the slideshow tab. This time, we'll use a feature called Presenter View, and this is really the right choice if you have two monitors. Let's go ahead and start Presenter View. On one screen, you'll see the presentation just as you have in the past. The real secret is on the screen I'll switch to here, which shows on my other monitor. Now this presenter view is so powerful and it helps really get you comfortable while presenting. As you can see here, there are some killer features on my other monitor that you're seeing now. First, I have my speaker notes to help me remember what to say. That means you'll never have to print out your note cards or scramble for what to say. You can also see upcoming slides to help you prepare for the next slide to present. Remember, you want to show the audience the presentation itself, not these notes, so make sure to use the Swap Displays button to keep the presentation on the share and presenter view visible only to you. As always, you can press Escape to leave this view altogether. Before we go, there's one thing to keep in mind as you start using PowerPoint and Zoom. Elements is the best way to get a presentation template that you'll feel great about presenting over Zoom. You saw Cubix, just one of tens of thousands of templates that you'll unlock with a subscription to Envato Elements. PowerPoint and Zoom are the perfect combination to give a presentation with confidence. Make sure to use a great template and I'm sure your meeting will be a success. Before we go, don't miss out on liking this video and subscribing to the channel. We carry lots of learning resources that help you continue to improve your PowerPoint presentation. Check out the rest of our videos. I'm Andrew Childress for Envato Tuts Plus, and thanks for watching.